here today, Alexander Graham, Angie Parker, and we are going through what are your new skincare steps yes. that um, our good friend Kat Berkey just sent you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you how to start your day with like a natural skincare routine. And then we're going to go into a quick natural sort of makeup look really. Yeah, everyday look. We've got this new product that we want to talk about that um, Kat just brought out, which is like this gorgeous new skin tint and it's called Nutritin. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do that right after our skincare. So, first Ready? step we do, skincare. Rose Hip Revitalizing Serum. So we love this, because I'm all into layers when I do my, sort of spits out of it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have a giggly video today, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> this one giggles. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's really important when you do your skincare steps. Don't miss any of them out because initially it feels like you might have a lot on your skin, but as the day goes on and your skin sort of drinks it all up, by the time it gets to like two or three o'clock, you're really grateful you've got those extra layers and things. What do you think? Okay, I put a lot of moisturizer on usually. I'm a moisturizer freak. You are? Yeah. And you have a little bit of a tendency for dry skin, don't you? Yeah. But what's that one? The so this is the serum. Love that. So this is helpful, creates like a barrier for your skin with like free radicals and mm -hmm. stuff out there that you don't want on your skin. It's really great. Oh. And then I go to my rose hip eye serum. Anti wrinkle. Anti -wrinkle. I saw that on the back when I read it. <laughs> exactly. Now it doesn't matter how old you are. I mean, that's not true. I think if you're 12, you shouldn't have to worry about things like this. <laughs> but once you get to a certain age in your 20s and we just had a birthday, didn't we, Alison? Yeah. What, 30? 30. Yeah. So now you've got to get that anti wrinkle on. Now you really need your eye cream. Yeah. My grandma told me to stop wearing anti wrinkle cream when I was 15. When I was 15. No, when, I was, <laughs> when I was 25. And okay. she said, I need to start wearing anti wrinkle. And how does your grandma look? Like, what's she the genetic? She's, she's 85. Oh, good. Yeah. She so the genes, the genes in your family are quite good when it comes to the skin. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that, that sort of thing helps, doesn't it? Yeah, we're lucky. Yeah. So we've got the eye cream on. Mm -hmm. I like to wait a few minutes between each step just to sort of let it sit. Mm -hmm. Just for fun. Yeah, soak in, soak in. Soak it in, I think it's important. Yeah, especially so, you've got dry skin, I feel like. Yeah, you even more. absolutely. Also, so, these products are all natural, right? These products are organic, organic. and cold pressed. Okay, so that? cold press, like if you go to uh, get a juice and it says it's cold press, oh. it means that it's just been made there and none of the nutrients have been taken out. Oh, okay, cool. So anything, it's not, the, the ingredients haven't been heated up. So like when you cook food, you lose some of the nutritional value. Mm -hmm. um, so apparently when you do a cold press um, sort of skincare line, it's um, got more benefits with nutrients. Oh, it's better for your skin too. So much better for yeah. your skin. You almost feel like your skin sort of sucks it in. It's like a vitamin for your skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah and okay. it's a lot of anti-aging properties. Mm -hmm. Fights. Um, there's a lot of vitamin C in the next one that we're going to use, which is hugely important for the skin. Mm -hmm. Vitamin C is one of the number one components to good skin. I feel. Yeah. There's actually yeah. apparently there's a thing where redheads make their own vitamin. Oh really? Yeah. Apparently, I got a superpower for that. You only, got, only you got so many superpowers, <laughs> though. Babe. Only my heads do that apparently. That's yeah. amazing. So, you, so, so I don't D. then. No, I don't have any vitamin D made no, by my skin. Yeah, that's a thing. Apparently, I'll Google it later. But yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna Google that later. <laughs> Okay, and we have it, the magic cream, I call this, the vitamin C cream. I do love this one. Isn't it great? Yeah. Because it's not like super heavy. You know, a lot of heavy heavy creams can feel very um, sticky. Yeah. This one feels like a really nice consistency. And um, it smells good too. You can put quite a lot on and it doesn't feel like your skin's absorbing it straight away. So mm -hmm. I tend to sort of do this when I put on cream just little movements and then I put it on my neck now we have to remember to always go all the way down here because these bits are missed out wrinkle. That's uh, especially my grandma told women me, yeah. because they forget this whole area here yeah. and you've got your t-shirt on now so I won't do it but typically um, I like to really rub it into the lips 
so that it, the lips get a good amount of the cream. Because I, I don't know, I always find creams really beneficial to my lips more so than lip balms. Really? Yeah, I just feel like my lips do well with a lot of cream on them, but when I start putting lip balm on them, it up. tends to. I mean, there are some really good lip balms out there, but they're, and they're all organic, but mm -hmm. um, I like the cream a lot. <clears throat> so if you've got time, you can just keep doing these little circular moments and just keep going up. Some people like those rose quartz and things like that, don't they, in the morning? I, that's too faffy for me. Too faffy for me too, and I've got all these bones, and I find that like it hurts my face yeah. when I do it. So I feel I, like if you just do it well with your fingers, it's the same more or less the same thing. Yeah. People are buying all these gates, I'm like, nah, just use your fingers. But I think there's something in the crystals that are supposedly oh, really? beneficial, but for me, it kind of, I've tried it quite a few times. I, I just feel like my face is a bit bony, so I gave it to my daughter. <laughs> She's got a bit more yeah, um, um, fat on her face, so I think she enjoys using it. But yeah. if you've got a bony face, it doesn't work as well. well it, it hurts. hurts. <laughs> it hurts. And also, I've got really sensitive skin, so it make my face red. Which isn't yeah. always great when you've got a one to work, is it? No. But this no. typically is what you're going to do now, isn't it, before you go to work? Because this is going to be your pre work yeah. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So you see, we've got the three steps there. It's really moist, but it's not super greasy. Does it feel greasy? Not at all, no. No. It even feels good on the lips. Yeah, that's why I really rub it into the lips. Because <laughs> I think, weirdly enough, we're really good at like moisturizing our face, but somehow I think we forget to really rub it into the lips because mm -hmm. we just then go and rely yeah, on our yeah. lip balms. Yeah. And for some reason, it just dries my lips out. So I don't know, it's a little thing to think about. Yeah. Use more moisturizer on your lips. I'm gonna do that now, I've never done that. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, <laughs> so this is what I was talking about. So it's actually still in its sample size. It's the secret, secret one. So it's soon to be put on the market. Actually, you're not 30, even though you just went to the beach. I know. Got this gorgeous- oh, my freckles are out. Mm, gorgeous, gorgeous color. <laughs> gonna do 20. Okay. So we got this color. Oh yeah. I think that was you, right? Yeah. So Kat's brought out this, what we call Nutri-Tint. And I was just talking to her this morning. I'm like, what do we love sure. about this? It's very, very fine. I haven't actually ever used a tinted moisturizer that's uh, quite as transparent and mm -hmm. light as this. So I think her reason for doing it was just, it's just that little added extra. Um, oh, it's a moisturizer. It's a moisturizer, but oh. it's got a color in it, but the color's so minimal that it's it's just like the lightest thing you could probably put on your skin after, okay. after applying a, um, or your moisturizer. moisturizer yeah so i think the thing is what i like to do if i feel like i've got like dark so it's still kind of a color it's a good color right yeah yeah it's really it's really nice mm. huh. and then it's got like reishi mushrooms in it and it's got things that are anti-inflammatory <laughs> really? anti cool. so what what you'll find is that it helps um it's out, definitely anti-aging, but it help, helps take down some of the redness and inflammation in the skin, mm -hmm. which I have a lot of that. you've had. Well, I yeah. think most redheads do. You might make your own vitamin D, but redheads <laughs> tend to yeah. suffer with a little redness mm -hmm. um, and um, have quite sensitive skin, I think, for yeah. the most part. I haven't really ever met a redhead that doesn't have sensitive skin. Yeah. But you've got some nice colour from your holiday, so... Oh, yeah. I think it's mainly my freckles that come out and just make me look more tan, you know? Yeah, but you've got still like a nice base colour there. Yeah. So... <clears throat> and that's and that's what I think is a nice natural look for daytime, mm -hmm. because it's not heavy, you can't see it, and it's really mm. feeding your skin with the same nutrition that the rest of the skincare line is. It's nice and shiny too. So it's right got here. this. Yeah, you'll feel like as the day goes on that your skin absorbs it a little bit. Yeah. I've got it on. I put it on on the way down here on the train. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and I don't look quite as shiny as you now. Yeah, but I've got all the moisturizer on too. Yeah, me too. But I did oh. it an hour or so ago. Oh, yes, so that's it's getting sunk in. Yeah. So there you have it. You've got your skincare steps. Cool. Thank you, Cat Burkey. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.